everybody, this is Sophie Mal Physiotherapy. Today we're going to do a quick video on warming up the glutes and the hips. Um, it's just going to be very much a quick kind of run over of getting these glutes activated and switched on that you might have heard a lot about. Our glutes are a very powerful muscle, very important in stabilising our hips. What they do, so it's all the muscles at the back here, so we've got our glute me, glute min, glute max, we've got piriformis, we've got a deep internal and external rotators inside here as well. So. They provide a lot of power, so help us run faster, jump higher, jump further, perform better. They also, given that they help stability, will help stabilise from the hips down to the knees, down to the feet, help in prevention of knock knee, help in prevention of that kind of flat-footed position we sometimes see in running as well. So if we can get these strong, get these hips supported, it can help in our running performance as well as reducing injury risk too. So again, this is just a very quick video, just to help wake up the glutes, wake up the hips, um, and then, like I said, it, as always, if you have a specific hip injury, a specific glute injury, lower back injury, any injury or niggle, please get in touch and we can give you a specific plan that's individualised for you or seek medical help if it's needed. So everything, as always, should be pain-free when you're doing it. I'd expect a bit of an ache in the muscles afterwards, which is all good if so. So if you've got a TheraBand, a resistance band, like a mini loop, something like this, then you can place this around your ankles or around your knees when we do the exercises. For the purpose of today's video, I'm going to use nothing just in case people haven't got any equipment at home. So, to start with, we're up in standing. If you've got the band, we're going to place it around our ankles as so. Like I said, for today, I'm not. So, here to here, we're waking up right into our glute knees here. Standing nice and tall, we're going to come out to the side. So just to show you from here, nice and tall, and we're going to come out to the side. So when we're ready, we're going to do 10 each side. So one, two, three, four, really pinching both groups, five, six. So this leg works as we stabilise, eight, nine, ten. Swapping sides, one, two, three, Four, really pinch, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Notice how my body stays still, so I'm not swinging through. This time, ten again, but this time from here, we're coming straight backwards, so we're kicking backwards. So from here, ten again. One, oh, let's put it further away. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Start this way this time so you can see. Apologies, I'm not the greatest on the video here. One, two, three, four, five, six. If balance isn't great, which we're working on that stability here, that hip, then by all means use a wall to help. Eight, nine, ten. Good. So we've gone straight out, we've gone straight back. This time, we're gonna go diagonal, 45 degrees. So from here, we're coming in between. One, two, three, four, five, keeping everything else still, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And on the other leg, same again, we've done out, we've done back, so we'll come diagonal, one. Two, three, four, five. I can really feel it pinching here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So this time we're going to come into a squat position. So bending our knees from the side so you can see. Back's nice and flat, bum sticking out, chest's up. So nice and tall from here to here. Bending our knees, but our feet are in line with our knees as well. From here, we're going to do like a standing clam. So we let that drop in, squeeze out. All the way in, squeeze out. If we can, keep our feet relatively flat. You'll feel this wake up the whole hip. So, 10 again each side. So in, out, one, two, this leg stays still. Three, four, five, really feel it in here. Six, seven, eight, see how I'm keeping the level as well, nine, 10, good, keeping this leg still, out and in, one, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. This time we're going to do an exercise called the crab walk. So same principle in our squat position. So here to here. What we're going to do is have a side step, so we stay in low, keeping in line. We step to the sides, step to the side. What we're going to do is we're going to do three steps to the right, so I'll start here, then three steps to the left. We're going to repeat this five times. So into our squat positions, and then we're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. That's one, two, three. Three, keep low, keep your chest up. Three, that's two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three. One, two, three. And relax. That one, if you had the bands on the ankles, that's fine. Otherwise, if it's easier for you, you can place it above your knees. Or if you want a bit more activation, then actually, if you place it on your feet as so, in that position there, we'll get a little bit more. So we really keep that tension on as we do so. Next up, we're going to do one for the deep internal rotators of the hip. So we've worked our external rotators, so what we're going to do is lie on our fronts. From here, bring our knees together and our feet together. And if I show you here, all we're going to do is from here, keep our knees together, it's one leg at a time, letting it drop out, back in, all the way out, back in, and then we'll do the other side. So we'll do 10 each side, so from here, when you're ready, knees together, one leg out for one, two, again, if you've got the band around your ankles, it'll make it harder, three, four, try not to let my hips rock so I'm not swinging around, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, stopping sides, one, two, Three, four, good, wake up them hips, five, six, keep your knees together, seven, eight, nine, ten, good. And then our last two exercises. So, a bridge, we've probably all done a bridge before. So what we're going to do is from here to here, squeeze up, straight back down, squeeze up, straight back down, we're going to do 10. So when you're ready, straight up for one, slowly back down, all the way up for two, back down, into three, good, keep going, four, five, six, seven, good, I can feel these pinching at the top, really squeeze when you get to the top, eight, nine, 10, good, and our last one, if you want a challenge, either you can repeat that for 10 for me, otherwise we're on a single leg and we're up for five each side, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, perfect. So that's a good starting point for you, so that should really start to wake up your glutes, you can feel mine woken up, use the band, it'll make it harder, or repeat that again, so do two sets and it'll be perfect for you. If you can do this maybe three times a week, if you haven't got any injuries, um, if you want more, like I said, more of a progression, more of a specific plan for your glutes and hips, please get in touch. There are hundreds of exercises we can do for the glutes, um, and there's far more progressions, but this is just a good leveller, a good way to start. Um, to get them boots activated. Hope you've enjoyed. As always, be in touch if need be. So, like I say, Facebook, so, facebook.com forward slash sofamal physiotherapy or website www.sofamalphysiotherapy.co.uk. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.